Taurus, hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. I'm ready to jump into a reading for you, my beautiful Taurus gang. So, I appreciate your thought, I'm ready to jump in. Let's go. I'm going to get you an oracle card um, before we start this time around, Taurus, from my beautiful Pulse card from Spirit Deck. That's lovely. There's some beautiful messages, and I don't know why I feel like you need one, but I do, so I'm going to get one. So, that's a shit shuffle. So hi, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Let's connect energies. If you are returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I am losing subscribers because of, you know, because of my crazy busy life with my kids and work. But that just is what it is. I can't, I, and I'll never change that. Doing this, you know, doing my readings, working with the tarot, it's my meditation, my wind down time. And I'll do it as much as I can, honestly. So if I'm busy, it's because of my kids. <laughs> But hopefully I will get them subscribers back. But let's get messages for Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So yes, place the sign in your birth chart anywhere you like from Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. You could find messages in here for you. Crosswatch is always welcome. The energy that I'm reading is either yours or something that you're connected to energetic cleft. Let the rules as you see fit. I'm just going to say as well before I get started. Someone's going through some major pain. Some kind of big painful endings or some kind of big betrayals. I don't know if that's you or someone that you're connected to. We'll find out. I am more than sure we'll find out. So, <clears throat> let's get a message for Taurus, please, Spirit. What does Taurus need to hear today for the highest good? Message for Taurus, please. Message for Taurus, Spirit. What does Taurus need to hear today for the highest good? Message. Oh, <laughs> I love how we fly out. <laughs> it gets me all excited. We'll take the one because they're quite long messages. So, okay. Your message, Taurus, is dear you. Uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace, and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. When you are pushed to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of a higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try doing something new. Try doing something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. Ooh. What is that about? So time is fluid in tarot, guys. I'm looking at current energy. So, you know, that will resonate with you as and when it should, I am sure. Hmm, beautiful message, though. Do something different. You won't know how it feels or what it looks like. So I'm feeling like there's a potential missed opportunity coming up that we are being told to not miss. But let's see. Let's see what we got. Come here. Sorry, send it to you, please. But how are we all? I hope we all doing very well. I hope we're all good. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, there it is again. What's going on here? I feel like someone's possibly reflecting on this. Someone. Let's see. Let's get messages for Taurus, please. What's going on? Uh oh. Uh oh. Incoming. An Aries Leo or a Sagittarius who is a little bit of a fibber. Someone's coming in. Someone's coming in who you don't trust. Great. Great. Tell you about Taurus's energy, please. I'm very passionately, though, mind. Someone's finding you very attractive. Tell you about Taurus's energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, Page of Pentacles. Okay, this is good news. Good news. This could be money for some. Okay. Oh, you're manifesting this. Whatever you're manifesting, Taurus, it is coming. It is coming. There's been some kind. There's some kind of. This could. 
this could even be someone younger um someone's coming in delivering some kind of good news and it's something that you've manifested with a magician please do be, continue to manifest because what you have you know your manifestation skills are on point right now you have got the power literally as above so below please do be specific in your manifestations guys because they're coming in one more please oh, I'm sorry no a few more oh. Taurus energy somebody rising Venus oh the chariot wants to come out then some of you are going to be going traveling some of you are going to come into money and you're going to be going on order and this is what you're manifesting that will be for everyone some of you are moving home but whatever you are working on you're receiving the good news from it and like the postcard from Spirit said, it might not be in in a particular way that you would normally recognise or would be normally used to, but tell me more please, tell us energy. Okay, oh, okay. Could be another scarf, yeah, strong scarf for energy. The death. Something's ended. Something could be having a rebirth. Something you're going to receive some kind of news here or some kind of offer from someone that is going to bring on a complete transformation of something. Oh, what is it? I'm excited. <laughs> Tell me what. Thank you. Oh, okay. Why does that have to pop out? Five of Swords. So this could be spirit just telling you to keep this very much to yourself. Whatever's coming in here, let's we'll find out. Or this could be some kind of, you know, the five of stars. My gran used to say, um, there's, a, "There's a thief here." She'd say to me, "Dad," because my dad always used to get the five of stars in his in his Taurus crazy lad. I hope you're watching, Dad. Hey, um, yeah, I mean, my dad have got the same birthday. <laughs> But my granny used to pull, my granny used to do cards, uh, read tarot cards, and she always used to get the five of swords from my dad. And she'd always say to my dad, there's a thief here. So that's what I feel like saying, there's a thief here. Please keep this quiet. If you are coming into money, keep it to yourself. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. Suicide. This could be someone that you've already got, um, that you've already blocked, that you don't have any much communication with. One more. One more, please, spirit. That was what I was thinking about today. This isn't a situation where you're blocking off your own wish fulfillment because it could look that way right now but we'll clarify in a second this could be very much so and also an energy of you know like i just said keep it to yourself there's someone there's someone or something that you need to not tell about your wishes coming true because in nine of cups it's wish fulfillment you know it's you know, it's your wishes look how he's sat there with all of his cups behind him he's not sharing them he's happy he's got he's got what he wants so someone's even blocking that. Let's let's clarify. Let's clarify. Well, with the five of swords, it's like dishonourable energy. It's like holding back theft. What ten of swords again? What's going on? Do you feel majorly betrayed? Oh wow! Ten of swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor. I feel very strong Aries energy. You feel very betrayed by somebody. So I feel like if you're going through, you know, if you're going to receive some kind of good news or coming into money or with something, or if you have, I feel like you've been told to not tell this person, to be honest, but we'll see. Just finishing my brew. <laughs> Sorry about this page of pentacles, please. But this could be something to do with children, you know, the pages represents younger energy. It could be children, but this is, you know, I feel like this is your energy, I don't... I feel like this is someone coming in, bringing good news. Right, okay, yeah, there's going to bring... Something's going to bring some kind of healing. 
promotion something's gonna some kind of news or money that you're going to be receiving is going to enable you to heal just to have a rest to step into meditation to put your sword down you don't have to fight anymore <clears throat> over something wow 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 ten of pentacles yeah something's coming in that's going to bring complete abundance here if some of you are having issues with money that is going to be resolved with something that you're going to receive good news with it's complete abundance ten of pentacles that's money 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 so i feel like you're being told to relax don't stress stay stay meditated stay in control shit don't tell anyone five of swords again Someone's lying about money. You really need to not tell. You're going to come into money, I feel, Taurus. This might not be for everybody because it's a general reading, but I feel like you're going to come into money in some way. You really need to keep that to yourself, okay? Don't share that. Yeah, you, you need to... You need to have the Five of Swords energy about you when it comes to this Ten of Pentacles. This could be something to do with your family. Not necessarily money. It could be to do with your family, your home, your stability. But there's something that is completing here. Or feeling, feeling complete. Something's going to make you feel complete and you need to keep it to yourself. I hope you know what that means. Wow. The Empress, the Seven of Swords, the Devil. There's someone around you here that you should not trust, honestly. For some of you, you could share a home with this person. You could be married to this person. Wow. This... I'm going to carry on. Hang on. Tell me about this magician, please. What? Nine of Clubs, ready to come out again then. You're wishing... You're... Honest to God, you are genuinely getting what you are wishing for. You really, really are. You are this, ma this master manifesting right now. You've got every single tool available to you to be able to manifest as above, so below. You you know, there's something infinite about your energy right now. You see to you see to grow in, you see to turn into are coming into fruition. Your manifestations are coming into fruition. Wow. Tell me about this magician. One more. Yeah, this is you, no doubt. No doubt. One more. Wow. And you are having patience with what you want. You are not settling. I'm feeling like you are not settling for nothing. Temperance energy and the Queen of Pentacles with the Magician. Like, you will have patience with what you want. Oh. With what you're looking for, with what you're manifesting. You will, it will, you'll wait for as long as it takes. You know, you still remain active, even though you are very, very grounded right now. You are tempering to yourself. You are wants, need, desires. And you're doing that beautifully, may I add. Because this is you, the Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy. Yeah. So this is you manifesting. This is you tempering to yourself. This is you having patience with your manifestations. Because you are not about to settle. And yeah, keep doing what you're doing. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. This is all destined. This is all destined. Oh my. You're going to have some celebrations on the on, coming up soon, Taurus. Whether you see this or not just yet, let me tell you, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour. Some of you could be going travelling. Shit, the tower. You don't have a clue about this. You really don't. Tell me one more, please, for this magician. Oh, fucking devil. Had to come out, didn't it? Could be dealing with a Capricorn. So there's someone toxic around you, I feel. Someone's obsessed with you, maybe. You're healing and... Are you going towards this devil? I really hope not. Look how she's walking, like, kind of facing the devil, though. For some of you, you could be healing from addictions, or somebody is. For some of you, you are very, very, very kind of particularly obsessed with your own manifestations. Like I said before, you're not about to settle your manifestations. You've got them to a... Like, you've got them structured as much as they possibly can be for the universe to hear. That's why you have to have patience here to get what you want. Because you are being very, very, very particular in what you are manifesting. To the point of it being borderline obsessive. But that, you know... I don't feel like you should alter that, <laughs> that though at all. Because I feel like it's working for you. Um, 
But there's also an energy here of you realising what you've possibly been chained to for quite some time. An energy that you could have been stuck in, stuck with. You could re Someone could have been really, really, really manipulative. Playing a lot of mind games and you've, you've realised this. You've... This is possibly why something comes to an end here. Tell me about this death card, please. What's this death manager? What's this death manager, please, for Taurus? Well, guys, I was going to say something then, but I won't. I shall not tempt me. Tell me about this death manager, please. Okay, the three of pentacles so we are we are most definitely on some kind of transformation process we are working on our stability we are working on our pentacle we are something about our comforts you could be decorating at home for some of you here going through some kind of transformation for some of you you've got in a lot of ties here whether that be energetic energetic or physical could have taken you a long time to do this but all as and when in divine timing you know some of you, some of you are very artistic, very much so. Wow, shit. <laughs> this is the three of pentacles can also be an energy of working together on something, collaborating. Tell me more. For some of you, right? This could be for one literal Taurus watching. Um, for some of you, you are going to be stepping into that much abundance and possibly that much money. You can leave work. But if that's the case and that's what you're going to do, please don't tell people the reason why, necessarily. Tell me about this death card, please. Some of you could literally be leaving work here, putting something at work to an end. The magician again. One more. Yeah, I feel like you're not messing here. Whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're up to, whatever you're wishing for, you are not messing. And the universe knows it. Look, look how look how focused he is. Let me see if I can focus at all. Oh, I don't know how you do it. Look at his face. Can't get you his face, but he's very determined. He's very focused, he's very set on what he's doing, very much so. For some of you, you are quite the little witch. One more. Thank you. Six of pentacles, right, okay. So for some of you, you are manifesting the balance to be brought back to the lack of whatever you went through. There was a big lack of something here. There was an imbalance on your part. You had to endure something. This could be to do with work. There could be a there could have been a situation at work where someone was being looked at and recognised more than you was, even though that wasn't justified. Um, judgment. For some of you, this is to do with a partner, a soulmate. You've been breadcrumbed by somebody, and you've, you know, this has already come to an end because this is, you know, we're clarifying the death card here. So you ended this. You thought, right, enough is enough. I am about to put myself first. I know what I'm worth. I know what I want. I know what I deserve. And I shall not settle for less. That is completely what I'm getting. And yes, go you. Tell me about this five of swords. I want to know what this is though. I really want to know what this is. What's this five of swords? Wow. The king of pentacles. We've got a match here, guys. The king and queen. I don't like what I'm seeing though here. Yeah. For some of you, just be careful that someone's not interested in money. Please be careful that someone's not trying to get near you for money. Someone could also be lying about their money. The moon wanted to come out then, are you fucking joking? Someone's lying about money here, guys. Someone could be very much lying about the stability. This could be someone that you've already blocked. Someone could have stolen money. Remember when I said it's the thief? Someone could have stolen something from someone's stability, if not actually money. Oh, 
Oh my good lord. Every time. You know, guys, I'm a Taurus sun, aren't I? And I do my own, you know, I read for myself, of course. And for the past two weeks or so, no joke, every spread that I do for myself, the tower comes out. Doesn't matter which deck I use. It does not matter. I am sick of seeing it. But bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> Someone... Someone... Someone's lying about what they're going through. Someone is very unstable. Or they're about to be. Tell me one more. But you know, the tower, it's an event. It's a shocking event. It could be destructive. It could be chaotic. It could cause upheaval. Something could come crumbling down here. And I don't necessarily feel like this is your tower moment. I mean, it could be. The King of Pentacles, it's your energy. Taurus energy. Shh. Fuck's sake. One more. Oh. The Ace of Wands. Okay. Passionate new beginning. Right. I'm just going to say, I know we always do point out that there's no gender in tarot, but I feel like for the Divine Feminines, okay, I feel like you're healing. For the Divine Masculines, I feel like you're going through a tower, but you're not telling anyone. This could be something to do with your money. Um, most definitely something to do with your stability. But there's some kind of passionate new beginning here with this Ace of Wands. Something, something, a lot of, there's a lot of fire here. Something go, something's going on. Wow, the Fool and the Emperor. A very strong Aries energy. Ten of Swords. You know, like I said before in a couple of your readings previous, something's smacking someone in the face. It's still what I'm getting. Honestly. Just give me one for this tower, please. Let me clarify this tower. Wow, sirs. Ace of Cups, are you joking? So, this is just something completely unexpected, I think. I don't think, I don't feel like you see this coming whatsoever, Taurus. But this is two blessings here from this tower moment. So, whatever does happen with this tower, if something does come crumbling down, it was only because it wasn't solid to begin with. The foundation was shit, right? So, it's being, it's being replaced with two blessings here. A passionate new beginning and a, and a new beginning in love. Wow. Tell me about this two of swords. Tell me more. You know, for some of you where you're coming toward a very a very big crossroads. Three of Cups. Some of you are not gonna have a clue what to do with this, even though you've been wishing for it. Oh my god, this is what you've been manifesting. You do not you don't expect this, even though you could be unknowingly manifesting this going down. But it's going down, and I feel like it's going to come to a very big shock to you, though. Tell me more. This is two of swords. Very jumpy. Thank you. One more. Thank you. Okay, the three of wands. Seven of Swords. Oh, right, one second. Yeah, I feel like you are just going to be very, very, very unsure of as to whether you can trust this person or not. The Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. It's with the, you know, with the Two of Swords, it's like coming to a crossroads. There's something that you are or have been blind to. There's something that you need to take the blindfold off with. Three, three, three. Could definitely be a third party situation involved in whatever this is, or there has been. This is why, possibly why there's distrust here with the Seven of Swords. There's someone here not to be trusted, or there wasn't to be trusted, and that's what you turned your back on. You turned your back on someone that was a liar. I feel like you could be waiting for this person to come back, you know? You're refusing to deal with something even though you're waiting for them to return. You're refusing to or you just don't you're not you're not interested in something that's happened, possibly within a third party situation, like you're not bothered, you're over it, I feel. But some of you are still waiting for this person to return. 
And I don't know if they should be trusted when they do come back. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me about this nine of cups. I hope this is making sense. Please do let me know. Like, subscribe. Yeah. You are guessing what you want, um, uh, Taurus. You are the Empress. This is you. Look how beautiful you are. Yep. You're getting what you want here. Your wishes are coming true. I love that. I love that for you. <clears throat> the death box come out again then. You're going through some big transformation, you know. Something to do with yourself, the person that you are. You're transforming yourself. Inside out. Queen of Cups. Okay, okay. This could be some could be a mother of mother of people of someone's child. But you're offering your cup of love out here. You're ready to love, you are, you're ready to love, you want love. But you're not finding it in wherever you've been looking. You're wishing for love, some of you. So even though you're wishing for it, you don't see it come in. One more. This kind of cups on every please for Taurus. Oh, the hyphen. Okay. Your energy. Wow, look how strong you are in your own reading. I love that. The, the Empress, the Queen of Cups, and the hyphen. So. So this sadness that you've had to go through, this ghosting of somebody or this going within or stick, you know, completely isolating yourself for some of you, you, you have done it and it was necessary, it was necessary, you've done the right thing, the lessons that you've learned along the way from this person or the situation that you've gone through, it was the right thing, it's major, it's literally major the person that you are today and that wasn't who you was 12 months ago, uh, maybe less for some of you but... You've learned a lot of lessons, you've gained a lot of knowledge. You could be now an advisor of such. Um, could have something to do with mother and child. But you know exactly what you want. You know exactly what you want and you're not settling for any less. And good on you, rightly so. Nor should you settle. But whatever you have been sad about in the past, whatever have you, whatever you've had to do some reflecting about, it was, it was meant to be, it was all destined. It was all absolutely destined for the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like because of whatever you, whatever patience you've had with this situation and with yourself, it's like, right, okay, let's reward Taurus now. It's reward time. So that's what I have for you guys. I really hope that's resonated. I really hope that's made sense. Please do let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment. Please let me know. I love hearing the feedback. And I shall see you on the next one, I'm sure. Hopefully the next one won't be too far away. <laughs> Um, but my kids come first. But yes, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you all soon.